Hi, my name is Carr and welcome to my tea time. Tea time with Tea Time with Carr. Today, in my cup, I am having some peppermint tea, which is like one of my favorite teas. But also some of my favorite things are making videos about the legal industry and interesting laws. And so this video is all about Indiana as we hear about some of the crazy laws in this state. Here we go. Okay, so this next law, or this first one, I should say, is, I'll just say it. Basically, if it's between the months of October and March, at one point in Indiana, it was illegal to take baths. I can only make the assumption of why that would be illegal between October and March is because it's really cold in Indiana and it gets really freezing. And so maybe the thought process was that if you take a bath, you're probably going to be wet and if you're wet, you may catch a cold, so you may end up being sick, so I don't know, but between those months, let's see, October, November, December, January, February, March, six months, it was illegal to take a bath. I don't know if that meant showers too, or just like being clean in general, but that's the law, or that was the law in Indiana. I don't know, it still could be on the books. I need to research that and see. Okay, so this one is pretty old. You can't enter into an opera house, like a movie theater, or a public streetcar within four hours of eating garlic. That's insane. I know some people who love garlic. I know some people who love onions. I know some people who love all those like very pungent, very aromatic foods. And I can only think like maybe with a public streetcar, maybe when cars first came out, what? All the old cars, I've seen like in movies that are like black and white and stuff, like the cars didn't even really have doors or like windows per se, but I'm just like, maybe they couldn't let the windows down. But if it was a street car, like maybe they mean like a trolley or something. I don't know what a public street car is, but if you know what it is, comment down below so I'll know what a public street car is so that this law would make sense because movie theater, opera house, like I kind of get it, like you are in close quarters, you have to communicate by whispering. But with a public street car, you should be able to just like roll down the window or most of those street cars didn't even have doors. So I don't know, but that was the law in Indiana. The next one is, for those of you who like to fish, and that's not me, you cannot catch a fish with your bare hands. So you can't go, oh my gosh, there is a term of it. A lot of people do it in the South. It's called noodling, I couldn't think of the name, but apparently a lot of people do noodling in Alabama, which is where you have the brackish waters. People used to make so much fun of me about this when they found out that people noodle in Alabama. Or it's like canoodling, noodling or canoodling. But you'll see it, it's like people just like stick their hand in these holes that are in, in like water and in streams and creeks and it's like you pull the catfish out with your bare hands so it's like you're catfishing with your bare hands so in indiana it is illegal to do that maybe in alabama if you're around some brackish water i think you probably can but i could be wrong i don't know but in indiana you cannot catch a fish with your bare hands So if you have a horse, and I kind of grew up with horses, and as you all know, I love little mini horses. They are so cute. But in Indiana, you cannot ride your horse more than 10 miles an hour. I didn't even know horses went that fast. I don't know how fast horses go, but in Indiana, it can't be more than 10 miles an hour if you are riding your horse. Okay, so this last one, I laugh out loud because I'm also taking care of my father too. So my dad is like my firstborn son and I call him that and he's just kind of like, Ugh. right? So in this one, in Indiana, 
you can get out of paying for a dependence care by praying for them. I laughed so hard. I'm like, I wish I could, you know, have a break sometimes, even though I love my dad and I do enjoy taking care of him. But I'm like, man, like the average person, if some days I could just pray <laughs> and it would work, oh man, I would, I would be praying. I, it would be nonstop. What is that? It would be praying without ceasing. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I just thought that was so funny because like, I guess the article I was reading, it said something of like, if you can prove to the judge that you've been praying for the person, that you don't have to actually take care of the person. So I just think that's hilarious. I don't know why it just, listen, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you can't take care of them, then you at least can pray for them. <laughs> so, so get to praying for your dependents, but that's all that I have today for these weird Indiana state laws. And just know that if you ever need a chat over tea, you certainly know where to find me. Bye. Tea time. Wisconsin.